again. So um, I changed I changed shirts because if I splash elderberry syrup on me, I want it to be on a black shirt and on a white shirt. I also have you in a different different position. My Christmas tree is in the living room. I've got it in my party party thing. So I'm gonna see if I can add people. How do I? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to show you. Actually, you know what? I did not. I did not put on here a name. I should put, oh, look, there's three people already. Say hi, who you are so I can see you. Hey, Taylor, Ashley, Sarah, hey. Brandon, hey, Brandon, Belinda, awesome, sweet. Okay, so I didn't put a title on this, but I am going to show you um, how I make my elderberry syrup. Um, and there's so many, I'm me. <laughs> there are so many um, good things about elderberry syrup. So many things. And the biggest thing, hey Christina, the biggest thing is that it says that the, um, oh I can't think of what they're called. The, the, the good things in elderberry syrup are, um, uh, you can liken it to the Tamiflu, like the things that, like, you know, that prevent flu um, or you know heal the flu and so there's just so many things there's so many goodness in here and I'm not gonna go through like all the things about what elderberries um, are good for and like why elderberry syrup is good but um, what I want to do hey, sissy. oh wonderful yes. can you put it on the nativity scene yes, um, I'm gonna show you how I make it so I I've already um, let's see okay there's our our dinner crispy chicken because it's Thursday all right so I want to show you this because this is very important so um okay I'm holding my thing right now all right I'm gonna just I'm gonna first tell you the ingredients let me put you back here Ooh, am I making you sick <laughs> okay let me tell you the ingredients. I wrote it. Oh, hey, Dessa. Where's Hadessa? Oh, she was coloring. <laughs> you see that? She was coloring on my paper. Okay, so to make one batch of this elderberry syrup, and I don't know how much one batch makes because I always quadruple it, so I four times it. <laughs> and so. To make one batch of it, you need two thirds cup of dried elderberries. Hey, Laura. See the set. I will in a moment. Yes. Okay, when you're um, done. Yes. Hey, Monica, you made it. So I um, get my elderberries on Amazon, and they are um, they're hard to find at like the same price like every time I go and buy some more it's a different price I don't know why uh, but this was the brand that I got this time this is a source nutrition and this is a one pound one pound bag and I think it was 48 or 54 dollars um, but this makes two for like eight batches is is what this is right here so you can make eight batches but I do four batches at a time of this does that make sense can I get some comments on here is that making sense at all so you need elderberries dried elderberries and you need um, I use ground awesome awesome Laura I use ground ginger you can also use fresh ginger but I never remember to get it when I'm making it so but ground ginger works just as good. Um, ground cloves. All of the things that I use are organic. Um, okay, great, Monica. And um, they're really good. So this is um, Sa Saigon cinnamon. Very, very good um, tasting cinnamon. Oh, hey, Mom. Uh, so there's that. And then um, you need raw honey, raw unfiltered honey. And that has water on it. And then you need your elderberries. And you also need water. Filtered water. Clean filtered water. So 
You take two thirds cup dried elderberries, okay? Yeah, a quad, thank you, a quadruple batch. Three and a half cups of filtered water, okay? One teaspoon of cinnamon, a half teaspoon of ground clove, hey Jonathan, and a, half, a quarter teaspoon of ground ginger. Or if you're doing fresh ginger, it's two tablespoons of fresh ginger, okay? And then um, we'll do honey to taste. So what you do first, all right, what you do first is you um, put the water and the elderberries in a pot, okay? And put it to a boil. When it comes to a boil, then you bring it down and let it simmer for like 45 minutes-ish. Why you're doing that is because, hey Crystal, because uh, elderberries in their raw form are actually poisonous. So you have to make sure that you cook them long enough to get all the goodness. Hey Jessica, all the goodness out of them so they don't make you sick because they're just supposed to be doing the opposite, right? So you're, you're, you're uh, cooking it down until it is half of what it was. And so even though it's three and a half cups of water, you're gonna boil it down to make half of that. Now, this is called elderberry syrup, but it is not a syrupy consistency. It's still liquid. So here's what I've got. I would, <laughs> Taylor. All right, so I don't know if you can see. Can you see here? This is where it started, way up here. Can you see this line here? And then this is where it is now, okay? So this top line, that was that was about half reduction. I think that's the right word. Hey, Amanda. Half of the reduction to get... Am I sorry? <laughs> that's so awesome. I'm so glad, Crystal. Hey, Brianna. So... You're gonna reduce it by half, okay? So it's not gonna make it like a syrup, but it is going to give you a significantly less amount, which is why I do quadruple batch, is because if I do, and I've got four children, if I were to do a single batch, we'd go through it in like four days, and then I have to do it all over again. So what you will need is a strainer, this is this has gone through it. It's gone through it. Hey, Larray, um, you need a strainer and another bowl, okay? So I put the bowl in the sink, and then I put my strainer on top of the bowl, which I have like a bowl. Hey, hey, please no running. A bowl strainer? We can't find it. I don't know where it is. So I'm going to bring you over here. I know. Ooh, behind my sink. I love this like little selfie stick stand that my husband got. It's fantastic. All right, let's see. Oh wow. Okay, so I've got this in here. Okay, you I want you it. want your. I found it. The awesome. Hey, this is. Do you see this? This is um not safe. <laughs> Plastic bags on kids' heads. Ugh. Is this no, it? it's not safe. No, that is a. That's not it. Okay, so, sorry about that. So you um, want the elderberry syrup to not be like piping hot. Um, mine is still kind of warm. It's still kind of hot because I only took it off just a little bit ago, but I didn't want to like leave you guys hanging for too long. So I have in my strainer and then my bowl, all right? And then we're going to slowly pour in the elderberry syrup, the liquid in here okay and so now my bowl is too full for this but do you, can you see how tiny those elderberries are in there they're very small very very small so they actually don't have can you see that they don't have much juice inside of them but we are about to in the backyard what do you think oh do you think it's in the backyard mom we are about to squeeze all of these, okay? So get ready, rudder to squeeze. So I'm going to, now that I've filled up this bowl, because apparently it's not my biggest, my biggest glass bowl, I will. All right, I'm gonna use, pour it into this one instead. Because what we've got to do is we've got to smoosh these. Hey, Shaney. We've got to smush these um, elderberries 
and get all the goodness out. We do not want to waste one drop of this. So I'm going to be very careful when I pour this in here because I don't want to waste it. Okay, so awesome. All right, do you have, if you have any questions while I'm going through this, please, please comment and ask me because I want to help you. I want to answer. So I'm going to put my strainer back in here. I'm going to pour the elderberries in here. Now I'm not going to pour all of them at once because I don't want to be overwhelmed with it. So I, I like to pour them all in there. Hey Carly, for all of you that um, have joined recently, I am uh, showing how to make elderberry syrup. Um, so I don't want to pour, put all of my um, elderberries in at once because I'm going to smush it. But then after I smush it and get all of the juice out of it, I do it again to make sure that all of the, the spices, all the, the spices that I put in there are not floating around and like sitting in there. Hey, Tiffany, because I, did, I didn't I did do the second um, like filtration thing. Uh, the, like the, I think it was the very first time I made it, maybe even the second time. And the kids did not like it because it was gritty. And I'm like, eh, I'm sorry about that. Sorry about that. So I get a spoon. How much do the kids take? Okay, so with the dosing, I wrote this down so I wouldn't, I wouldn't forget. Um, so for one year and older, for a one year old and older, you take a half to three teaspoons. So a half teaspoon is like a daily, a daily thing. If you think that they are about to get sick or around someone that was sick or is sick, then you could do like a half a teaspoon, you know, throughout the day to get up to three teaspoons or one teaspoon three times a day or whatever. Um, for adults, uh, take one to three teaspoons or more daily. So again, it, it depends on if you've been around people or if you're just taking this for maintenance. You might have already answered, where do you get your elderberries from and what kind of honey do you use? So I um, I got my elderberries here. Um, I got them on Amazon. The other brand, I can't remember the other brand that I used to use. If I find it, I'll link it down below. Um, but the other brand that I use, I, I can say I like better because like this, they're both organic and they're both great. Um, but the other brand that I use was usually less, uh, lesser, less expensive than this one. And, um, but they were out. So that's the problem. Elderberries are, they are expensive and they are not like always readily available. Um, but making it at home yourself is cheaper than buying it in stores or from someone else. If you have the time. Now, if you don't have the time, then absolutely. Hey, Terry Ann absolutely uh you know buy it from your friend that makes it because if if you know if they're using if you know they're using all organic stuff then absolutely use them all right what was the other question i'm always on the fence about what kind of honey to buy okay so i always get raw honey raw raw unfiltered honey this brand um cox brand it's clover honey hey jess um is delicious but when we were when we went to Georgia a few weeks back, there was a bee store, honey store. I don't know what you call it, but uh, it was local, um, and they had amazing, delicious raw unfiltered honey. So we bought um, what is this? A gallon. <gasps> we bought a lot of it. This is clover honey as well. So we have this, but. Um, most of the time I buy, hey, hey, careful. Most of the time I buy the honey that has like that bright orange top and the bright orange sticker. Do you know what I'm talking about? Anybody know what I'm talking about? That's usually what I buy because I know that it's consistent in taste. I know that I trust that brand. Cannot remember what the name of the brand is. If someone finds it, could you comment down below? Um, but I trust their brand, and so I'm good with that. So now I am, I'm gonna, hopefully you don't fall over here. Okay, so I have my, my strainer here, and I just kind of do like a, a swooshy motion. That, that's that's the scientific term. And just squish all the, all the berries, okay? I just wanna 
do a good, good mash of all of them because we want to make sure we get every bit of goodness out of there. And this doesn't yield too many drops, but it's really good. It's really good to do. So, again, if you have questions, please, please be asking all the questions. All right, and then this is just gar hey, careful. garbage. I'm gonna get it. Um, sometimes I'll go through and I'll, I'll like stir it in with the other ones and mix it again, but it doesn't look like too much is coming out of there. So I'm just going to dump it and do some more here. Yes, just one. All right. No, just one. All right. So you can see this made this like this had a lot of a lot of berries in it. A lot. Um, so when I when I did this, like I said earlier, I quadrupled the recipe at Kroger good price too. Yes, it is at Kroger that honey is. And hey, I'm talking. Well, I want rice crispy. Okay, I don't have a rice crispy. Um I don't have one. Crazy. I'm talking right now. I need you to stop. I want to listen. No. Um, Noah, go sit, please. I want Kroger and Sprouts both have the honey that I'm talking about. And I cannot remember what the name of it is, but that's it. So, squishing, squishing, squishing. Getting all the goodness out of there. Getting it out. You can see um, this is on the back of it because it's the... It's like the harder part. It's so good. So, while I continue to squish this, um, hey Mary Ellen, uh, how many of you have made your own elderberry syrup before, or used it before, or never used it before, and this is your first time even hearing about it, and you thought elderberry syrup was like, you know, pancake syrup or something? Tell me, what is, what is your, what is your, plan on here and if you have made it before do you add anything extra hey 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 uh-uh we're not gonna scream why don't you guys go upstairs can you go to the playroom please if you have made it before do you add any extra things to it bought it from sunshine nutrition last year oh that's cool i didn't know that they um they did that I just bought some last week. Awesome, Carly. It's so good. And with big families, I love, I love making it myself because we go through so much, so much of it. Um, I, this, hey guys, hey, hey, Taylor, I need you to go upstairs, please. Yes, ma'am. I'd love to. Okay, do it. Is that, what do they call it, the witching hour? I acting all crazy. Used but never made. That's all right. Not everybody's made it, but it's really good for you. This is our first year to do it like every day thing. Yes, absolutely. It's so important to do it every day too. And both colds have gotten, both girls maybe, kids, have gotten a cold. It wasn't so bad and so far they haven't got the flu. We don't do the flu shot. Um, how much will this batch make? I was just about to answer that. This batch will make like two of this size. This is 32 ounces, two, about two 32 ounce containers, which is awesome. Um, you need to know, yes, I do need that. So mom, I, I did, I used the, um, the juicer the last time I did this and it was awesome but obviously n nobody else hey Lexi has this juicer so that would be a bad idea to do it because nobody would be able to do it so I have all that juice now what I said again I'm going to do it now do you see this this that is the um, the grit from the seasonings I'm actually going to rinse that out. Now, I have... Noah, can you give me one of the white um, sheets that's in under there, please? You want to talk about the juicer thing? 
Okay, I do need it, yes. Um, I bought some from Sunshine. Okay, cool. Yeah, I didn't know they had that. So do they make it or is that like a, it's a brand thing? We got stuff to make notes back and track. Yes, okay, Hope. Of course you <laughs> have purchased from that. That's awesome. Yes, purchasing from other stay-at-home moms, like yes, if you can, if you're not wanting to make it, um, then absolutely help you know help out another mama that is um, is making it. Let let them help. Let them get the money. It's awesome. So um, yes, Sarah, about 64 ounces. Now we're about to pour this out and see because it really depends on how much I how much I boil it down. So I have this is uh, one of my juicing cloths, but like uh, like my mom. Hey, Amy. Hey, Randy. Like. Um, was mentioned above with a nut sack. Yes, if you have that or if you have like a clean um, dish towel that you trust, you could put your berries in there, in there like this, and then like squeeze them out and just squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. Absolutely. But I'm showing you with the least amount of, of things how I did it in the very beginning before I had stuff. So I put this cloth in the filter, okay, because I'm about to pour all the elderberry syrup through this filter okay so here we go ding, ding, ding. dinner's ready all right slow mommy yep slow. i know slow i don't want to miss anything yeah this is like gold in our house we love it and it's so good go this one's go. it's not going down very fast now nope. um another thing that you could pour this through is Oh darn! Now I just forgot. It's a t it's a paper towel, but it's re it's like a, a cloth. Have you made any gummy bears? I have not made any gummy bears, Hope, but I really want to. I want to make the gummy bears for this, and I also want to make gummy bear of activated charcoal because we use activated charcoal anytime anyone thinks they might be sick at all um, for like vomiting or you know like food food allergies and stuff. Um, we we use activated charcoal, so I would love yes a cheesecloth, Lexi, or a nut nut cloth. I think is what my mom just called it too. Um, oh, angle the camera down. Okay, sorry. One second. She's busy. Yes, I'm squeezing. <laughs> mm. yeah. I am squeezing it. Yeah. All right, there we are. I'm glad I cleaned my sink for y'all. I had Noah do his. Do his responsibilities. Can you see in here there's already, would you stop it? Stay. There's already grit from the thing. Now, this will stain your hands, so I definitely recommend, um, oh, what's the word? Rinsing your hands very soon after. This is not doing well. So it does better, obviously, when I do my, let me have one of the other ones, the one that's on top there. I mean, it is working, it's just not doing its best. I'm afraid I'm gonna lose some of it. I don't wanna lose any of it. All right, more questions. Cheesecloth, cheesecloth. Okay, so, um, so mom, what is the difference in, a, what'd you call it, a nut sack, a nut cloth? What did, what did you call that? Um, and, thank you, I think, I don't know if that would work. What is the difference in those two things? Can you tell us the cheesecloth and the whatever you called it? Nut sack. Yeah, I don't know what she called it. Nut sack. I heard you say nut sack, nut sack, nut sack. Thank you, Noah. I don't need you saying it again. Nut sack. Noah. Okay, okay, I get it. It's a little funny. I don't care if it looks funny. That's calling you. This is a delicate surgery happening right here. Delicante. All right. Nut milk. Thank you. Same as what you're using, but a sack. Ooh, yes, that would be great. That way it wouldn't like spill over the side of it. Because, yeah, I don't want to lose it. What do you mind? I hope not. So you can see this makes a lot of thing. When I. Um, when I quadruple the backs. Now I do like to keep, it's okay. I do like to do this when it is still warm because after I, seriously, after I have um, 
It's messy. Please stop. After I have poured this out, um, and I need to mix the honey in it, and the honey doesn't, um, it doesn't blend well if you don't have, if it's not a little bit warm. I mean, it'll blend just fine if it were cold, but as, it just takes longer, and I ain't all about staying here for forever. So, that's what we're doing. Any more questions? You put boiled nut meat in it and squeeze to make milk. Oh, well, there you go. The flour sack towels work well. Yes, that was it. Yes, that was one that um, I have used before. When I first did it, I used that type of, type of a sack. Or a, a what did you just say? Towel that I've used. Okay, I think we're down to this last pour, maybe. I yeah, I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but there is lots of residue and the reason I, I just want to get rid of it is because I don't the kids don't like um, the grit they just don't like the grit and if you were to just not shake it every time you pick it out take it out of the um, fridge which this stays in the fridge and it's good in the fridge for up to six months but when I every time I take it out of the, the fridge I shake it up hey Ashley hey Laura we are making elderberry syrup here. I'm squeezing out the juices. So good. All right. I do have one more pour. Oh, can you see that? Whoa. That definitely had gunk in it. And it's not gunk. It's the spices. It's not gunk. Not <laughs> gunk. All right. So, can you see that? Oh, that's that is the gunky. All right. So, last last thing. I know, right? This thing. Anybody uh, want to get me a Christmas present? Apparently, I need a new um, strainer. <laughs> All right, so after we do this, then we are going to pour in the honey, the raw honey. And I'm trying to get down here so I can see you. Um, it says, I think it's a half of a cup for one batch. That would be two cups of honey for this. And number one, I don't want my kids having that much honey, but it is with the raw and unfiltered, it is really good for you. So there's that. But um, if you don't add enough honey, this will be very bitter and nobody's gonna like it. And when I say bitter, I mean bitter. It is not good at all. So here I am squeezing all of this out. Okay. So now we're gonna take this out of the sink. I'm gonna rinse my hands off. You get to watch me wash my hands. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it is very bitter if you do not add sweetener. So it says a half, half of a cup, but that depends on what sweetness level that you want. So obviously if you want it sweeter, then add more. Um, I don't measure, I just eyeball it. I just squeeze a bunch in there, stir it up, and then taste it, because that's how I roll. Hey, Patricia. Okay, do I sell it? I do not sell it, but I would be happy to sell you some. Um, Ashley, I've been wanting to try it. It is so good, Ashley. It's so good for you, it's for, good for the kids. I mean, it's just all the things. Sarah, I just took my last dose from what I bought last year, got to admit it. <laughs> it I don't even know how to explain it. Everyone that comes over is like, oh, what does this taste like? I'm like, I literally have no idea how to explain it to you. Um, it's a, it's a, it is a different taste, but the more um, honey you add to it, the better. And uh, Sarah, did you know if, if yours had any extra spices in it? That's why I add these spices because uh, raw elderberry just like by itself is not delicious at all, but I add ginger clove and cinnamon and um, You have to be careful with the ginger because it will be too spicy and you will not like it Or at least the kids won't like it And then you have to be careful with the clove because sometimes if you use too much clove it can make it bitter so you have to be careful with those Okay, how often do you drink and take this for what? So we um, take one table, one teaspoon 
every single day. Like every single day we get it. If we have been around someone that's been sick, um, if we've been around someone that's been sick, anybody says, oh, I don't really feel good, or like, or they actually are sick, we always up everybody's dose. Everyone gets more elderberry syrup. Hey, Becky. Um, so, yes, can you make Dr. Pepper? <laughs> you would ask that question, Sarah. That is hilarious. So, Lexi, for any anything, all the, all the sicknesses, illnesses, we just up the dose any... <laughs> We up the dose anytime anyone is sick. It's bitter. Yeah, I'm going to guess if it does have um, seasoning in it, then, uh, or, you know, like spices in it, that it might have too much of something. But if it has zero spices in it, that's exactly why it's bitter is because it's just straight elderberries. How do you, how much, so how do you eat it? Put it on. So this is a, can, I don't know, can you see how liquid this is? It's very liquid. It's like, I'm going to move you guys back over here because I'm going to add the honey. There we are. Okay. I'm going to make you higher. Makes me look thinner. All right. Where's my spoon? All right. Got my spoon. So now what we're going to do, can you, can you see that? It's just liquid. It's not an actual like thick syrup. So there's that. Um, now, if you were to buy this from a store, some of the, a lot of the um, like pre-made, um, pre-packaged, I can't think of what it's like, over-the-counter uh, types are a, a syrup. And it's because they've added something else in it to make it a syrup. Syrup. Can you use Young Living oils instead of spices to help with the gift? Um, I don't think so because the reason that you're using the spices is to like infuse it into the thing and not, it's not just like a blend. Does that make sense? It like the, the properties, I, I know that the properties in essential oils are good too, but the properties in this and the blending. So I don't know. I don't have a good answer for you. I would, I don't know. Um, I would be afraid that it might taste bitter because of the, um, the oils and I don't know what, how much to how much to tell you so I'm just squeezing um, honey in there everything that I had in this in this thing it's delicious and the bottle. well the oil is blended yes they should hey Gina you might need to shake it more each time yeah it's true I don't know I don't know at all I've never tried that before what do you think of this I bought it this week and Oh, absolutely. If you have elderberry syrup, give it to the children. I would I would start them off at like a teaspoon um, and then like go up up to there cuz we I mean we've gone up to a tablespoon or more for the kids depending on like how sick they are and they've been fine. But we've been taking it for a while. So be careful. This can be very um, powerful um, if you take it and you are not used to it. All right. So now I am stirring in my honey. Hey, Gina. I sent a pic, but don't know if you can see it yet. I may show up in the post later. Oh, I see. Are you? Did you post it in a comment, or did you um, text it to me? So, let me pull this down here so you can see this goodness. All right. Can you see that? Yes. Hey, can we not yell? That would be wonderful. Can you Dessa, can you see the, the honey in there? It's so good. Let me get down here again so I can see you guys. It is Zarbi's Dark Honey and Elderberry. Yes, that's, um, we've used that before. It's good. Hey, Gina, I am making elderberry syrup. Yes, it's a comment on the post. Yeah, I probably won't be able to see a, uh, a picture, but I think we have used these Zar Zarbi's, Zarbi's. I don't even know how you say it. Zarbi's. We use, we like the Zarbi's uh, cough, cough syrup. Cough syrup. Cough syrup. Don't laugh. It helps to prevent illnesses. Yes, it does. Prevent and shorten illnesses. It has a lot of very good healing properties that... I'm bringing you up here while I'm stirring. Um, a lot of healing properties that help. Can you get me another spoon, please? I don't think you have one. You have to go get, get down and get me one. It's so good. So if you Google, like, what does... If, if someone can can uh, post some things that you know, like comment, what are some things that you know the elderberry syrup does or how, how it's good for you? 
Um, all right, this is about blended in. I'm gonna taste it and then add more syrup because I'll probably need some more. Hey, Christian. Oh, look, Lexi got beat me to it. It's crazy how like far behind these um, the comments are on here. Look it. Okay, so we need more honey. It's bitter. We don't like that. We don't like that. So let's try my jug o honey. This has been in the garage, so it's like it's it's thick. I think it's good. Okay, so but it's so good. This good clover is like cinnamon. Okay. Mmm, that's so good. So, after I stir in all this honey and I've tasted it, I pour it into my into my jars. Can you get the jars that we use, please? And then all the lids. Um, and a funnel. We need a funnel. Because we gotta, gotta put it in there. So, does anybody have a, um... Oh, no, just the big ones. What, honey? I sure will. I'm almost done with this. I'm almost done. There's not like a fast way to incorporate honey in liquid. You only add, add two thirds of a cup. Yes. Yep. So this whole bag, this is eight single batches of elderberry syrup. So it's $54 or 48 or 54. I can't remember how much it was. For eight single batches of elderberry syrup. And I make um, a quadruple batch every time I do it because I got four children. There's six of us taking it, and um, sometimes we take extra because the kids love it. No, we don't need to touch that, though. Thank you. All right, I think we're good. So how I know that the uh, honey is all incorporated is if I scrape the bottom. Can you see? Mm, you can't see because it's all incorporated. I was hoping to get a little bit of the honey on the on the side. But if you scrape the bottom of the, the thing and look at the spoon, if you see, like, it looks like honey. Oh, here's a little bit. No, I can't see it. Anyway, if you see that, obviously the honey's not incorporated, so continue to stir. So now we're gonna try it one more time. Okay. Still not there. Watch out, sit down. You can try it in just a minute when I'm done making it. Okay, here we go. He says, elderberries dis disarm the enzyme viruses used to penetrate healthy cells in the lining of the nose and throat. I cannot um, read any more of that because it was long, but I'm assuming it's saying taken before a cold, it could uh, stop it or shorten. Um, but yeah, I just saw that it said that, I think it was enzymes, I can't think of what the word is, but um, the enzymes in the elderberries are um, as, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lexi. No, 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 are uh, like the same type of uh, benefits or whatever that you get from Tamiflu, like the thing, the medicine that you get from the doctor. Yeah, so that's awesome. So, so Hi. awesome. All right, I think this is gonna be good. May I have um, that over there, please? So now, I put this in the wrong bowl. I put it in the wrong bowl. Yes, I'm so glad that you did that. Oh, okay, look, I have, because I just added honey. Let's see if I can pull it up. Can you see that, how it's moving? Yeah. Stop, stop, that's how it Maybe, works. oh, there it is, no, maybe. I don't think you can. But, if you stir the bottom of the, the bowl, and it looks like mm. yellowy. Okay, so. Um, all right, I need more room. That means that you guys got to go. You're too close. I do not want to spill this on anybody, okay? Get down, please. I do not want you to fall. That would make me very sad. Jump. Pull. Put that back. Get off my counter. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. <laughs> it says, do you want to add, 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 tag Carter DeYoung in this? That's hilarious. All right. Oh, there's still some honey. Dang. It's because his honey's so thick. I'm sorry, I'm trying to end this for y'all. Perfect. 
You want to try it? Okay. You see this cutie over here? Where are you? Come here. Okay, you can try it. Hi. Say hi. I want to try some. Oh, is that so good? Yeah. I want to try some. You just did try some. So they love it. They love it so much. Hey, 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 Shh. you're about to get some as soon as I pour it into these, these things. So I'm gonna put this in the sink again so that I don't spill it. Yes, hopefully not. And, oop, I did spill some. Sad day. Sad day. All right. So who is going to make some of this? Oh no! I got Who's going to make some of this when they get off of here? Who's going to make some of this this season? This season. I spilled some of this. Oh! Uh, Carter? No, Carter's not in his underwear. Noah's not in his underwear. Not today. Not today. Well, you have underwear on, but you're not wearing only underwear. And wearing All right. So this made more. So this made 64 ounces plus this much. And I spilled some in the sink, which is super sad because we cherish every. This is like, you know, like breast milk is liquid gold. This is liquid red juice because. It's expensive and it has so many good, no, 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 healing properties. So, let me pour this in here and I will show you what I have. All right. So, I have a mess is what I have. Ooh. Careful, sissy, don't fall. Okay. Tail fold. So, let me take you off of here. Okay, I have 32 ounces, 32 ounces, and like eight ounces. I'm gonna say eight because I spilled some and there's six in there. So whoever can do math real fast because I'm not in the math mode right now. Um, that is, you can. Yes. Liquid rubies. It is liquid rubies. Um, it is. So now I'm just gonna. Are you eating this? She's just like sucking the honey out of the bottom of this. So I'm just putting the lids on these, and then I will put them in. I usually put them in the back of the fridge, um, but I always uh, shake it. I shake it when I get it out of the out of the fridge. But you can see this made. What's it, 64 and eight, is that what I said? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 72, 72 ounces. Thank you, Monica. 72 ounces, um, and that's half of this. So 72 ounces is four times the recipe that I, that I gave you at the beginning, this one. Four times the recipe is 72 ounces. And, um, that would be if this would if it'd be like twenty four dollars for two and a half of these. That's a really good deal if you're making it yourself. Really good deal. Um, that's it. So, does anybody have any more questions for me? Any questions? Um, of course, if you're watching the replay, feel free to ask questions. I love answering questions. Hey, can you give me two lids for this? You see these little lids? I need a small one. I'm out of lids. Any questions? Yes, yeah, sweet sissy. She's so cute. They love seeing you on there. I, I see me. Yes, you I see them? It. Yes. <laughs> There's no shirt on. Like, censor this out. Censor, censor. Oh, this is a big one. I need a smaller one. All right, any, any questions? Any questions? Let me know, let me know. I'll let you guys go for the, for the night. Hi. <laughs> they are so about like doing the flop. Oh yes, thank you. And then I need uh, the lid, and then I need one for this. Two more. Will you post the recipe after? I will absolutely say. 
but I might be ambitious. It's It really is easy. They sell plastic one piece lids. I don't like, well, I guess I could use the plastic. That would be easier than this metal because yeah, the metal gets, um, gets gummy. Um, yep, this one right here. And then I need two of the rings. Two of the rings. All right, well, I'm gonna let you guys go and um, let me pull this off and I'll show you our our final product here. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> 72 ounces of liquid ruby. <laughs> now we're losing children. No. I love you all. Thank yeah. you for. Don't be running. I'm on chair. Oh, oh, you're on her chair. Can you get on the other one that looks exactly the same? Anyway, I love you all. Thank you for joining me today um, for two lives. I'm so proud of you. Um, share this video if you want, and I hope to see you all back on uh, Sunday at 3 p.m. as we do our Bible study. Love you. Bye. Cookie.